Welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Now, last time we left off, we made reveals of time. The Exodus. Yeah, that's the game. Let's see here. Ah, game convention. Lovely. Large proof. Let's hope that those two can come back so that we can start researching another game before the uh, game convention kicks off. Hi boss, I have uh, a knack for security and I think we could really do with some security upgrades in our office. I have done some research and I think with an investment of $50,000 or cash, we would be a lot safer than we are now. What do you say? Yes, invest. It is only $50,000. We do have the amount of money to spend in security upgrades. Thanks boss, I'll get right to it. Sweet. Let's see. Is everyone back? Not yet. He is still missing. If he could just hurry the hell up. Let's see. Do you need to go on vacation? No. Uh, what about you? Oh, he's a new guy. Right. I totally forgot about that. It's been a couple days now since I played last time. So, uh, that was a sequel. So, I think we are going with a new game today. Large game. Oh, uh, right after I stopped recording last night, I got a message that we now have over 250,000 fans and it is now safe to make large games. So, I actually, the, the, uh, the Exodus was actually our first large game and that was before it was safe to make it. So, that was quite cool. Now, I want to make an adventure game. And I wanted to be something with computers, actually. If not, I got a different kind of game I want to make. Let's see. No, not not hacking. I want something like uh, IT tech support-ish, if that is possible. Let's see. Uh, oh, not no, not military. Uh, detective, detective adventure game. Yeah, since. The ITs they do uh, a little bit of detective when they try to figure out what the hell is wrong with the game. So yeah, I think that's cool. Detective adventure. It could be adventure RPG, but I'm going with a pure adventure game. Uh, uh, the tech support. Yeah, the tech support. Uh, would it be like that? No, uh, the IT guys. Yeah. Uh, if I think about something else, uh, something better, I'll go to that in instead. Adventure. Yeah, let's make it for the PC. Pick a game engine. Frostburn 1. Next. Graphics. Yeah. And we are good to go. We just got word that uh, Reason of Time, The Exodus, 500,000 sales. Sweet. If only I could see what games the competitors made, that would have been sweet as well. Let's see. Uh, the IT guys cost me 1.8 million just to start it off. Ho! Oh, just in a nick of time. Sweet. That's gonna push up the. F uh, what's it called? The hype. Uh, what was it last time? I think it was 61? Now, now I'm thinking 52. And I'm saying 52 and it's probably gonna be 47. Wow! <laughs> 47! <laughs> Jesus! That's just uh, pure luck right there. TS is off the market. I did get that with me, but I never released any game to it. As far as I know. No, I didn't. If I had, it would sell it. Okay, and it's an adventure game, so story quest. Yeah, that looks very much like what I want to have. Donna Garner, you can do the story, story quest. I'll, and myself can be on gameplay. Yeah, that looks cool. Story quest, simple cutscenes, and branching story. Engine. Oh, I really want... Come on, just 1% up. Like that. 
but that's gonna f fuck up. <laughs> okay, I'm going with that just to get the mod support. It's an adventure game, and they will have the possible the possibility to have mod support. Drive staff to engines. Okay, who's gonna be on engine then? I'm gonna have you sip Meyer. You can go on engine. Okay, keep uh, kick it off, guys. The hype is going. Yeah, twenty. I'm thinking I'll be up at 200, 200 something around 200 at the end of the, uh, the game development. We'll see at the end. Okay. Look at that, 606,000 on the Exodus. I think that's a new record. No, I think a 900,000 is the record. We'll find out. Okay, uh, stage two. Uh, adventure that is is it dialogues instead of AI yeah I think it's uh, kind of the same as RPG really yeah it is isn't it I'm quite content with that that's the case okay uh, Benjamin I myself there which puts me up to 100% which is nice and on artificial intelligence I can throw in Sip Mayer one more time and I'll choose these guys in the next process. Yes. That seems fine with me. I cannot choose any of those. Just not enough artificial intelligence that has been worked on for this game. Well, that kind of suits the game. That, yeah. Now, if any of you have been uh, going to school where the teachers are not that great with uh, computers and everything related to computers, internet, VHR and, stuff, and all that stuff, that technological stuff. You can understand why the lack of artificial intelligence fits this game perfectly. Uh, let's see, is there a sound? No. Let's see if I can pump it up. How far? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Sound, is that... Uh, no. Let's see. Around there. Oh, how far can we go? Okay, we can go... 33%. Yeah, there. That seems fine with me. And I'll place James E. Gormack. On um, Grano, he'll go there. I want. Uh, uh, I'll try and get more tech. I need more tech, I think. And you can go there and him there. Yeah, that seems fine with me. Let's do it. I haven't marketed the game yet. Oh. Let's do it. 200! Wow. 210. Industry news! Today, Nintendo has announced a new mobile console called the Nintendo GS. It features two screens, one of them touch sensitive, and promises unique gameplay. While Nintendo has been struggling to regain really their market lead ever since the TES 64, they still have very strong position on the mobile market. That is true. The Nintendo GS promises to strengthen their disposition and aims to breathe fire. Fire? <laughs> wow! <laughs> An Asian brief life into a stagnating mobile market. The castle will be in stores next month. Brief fire into a stagnating mobile market. Wow, okay. <laughs> they actually want to dominate it. For cancelled fire. 9 million units. No. 648,000 units, and he got 9 million in cash. Today, Vani announced that they are launching a new mobile gaming console called Port the Portable Play System, or PPS for short, later next year. Mira analysis speculate that this announcement is meant to distract users from the Inventor's launch of the Nintendo GS. While the Nintendo GS utilizes an innovative dual screen, the PPS instead makes use of a single screen and will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. Oh. Well, two new consoles this episode. Sweet, and one that got off the market. Not bad. 
and it has been released. I do believe this is a new record on both technology and design. Not bad at all. Now I need money. Now I'm gonna train myself in game design course. And finish the game. Come on, no! I am. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on, click it! I thought I clicked finish and. Oh! Wow! Wow! That was too damn close. I just clicked that away. I was a little bit worried there. A little bit irritated at the same time, but then I noticed I didn't click it. Thankfully. Huh! Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys get more money. That's fine. Special training for Beverly Larand. Beverly Larand, I do believe you are new. Okay. Uh, you can research a few things. Save to cloud. Here are the reviews. The tens are there. Well, it's not a ten though. Eight. No, I was worried about the seven. Eight. Nine. Piece of nine. Eight. Four eight. That's good. I'm glad it wasn't any lower than eight. That would have cost me my company. Well, now I'm going to research a few things and train my employees and I'll see you next episode. Well, first of all, I'll show you a few things that I'm going to research. Let's see. Realistic weather. Skill trees. Research. Basic physics. I could. Uh, simple body language. This is going to cost me a bit of money, I see. Research. I have 82 left. What should I go for? Achievements, but that leaves me... Oh, I can go for achievements and basic physics. Let's see, research, uh, basic physics. And lastly, why not a new game System, uh, uh, topic, game topic. Let's go with that. There we have it, and I'll see you next, next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Goodbye.